humans are programmed to find patterns. We are so good at it that we can easily make patterns out of things that are not actually in pattern. That's how our brain works. People in ancient times made patterns looking at the sky by joining various stars. And what would they interpret from it? They thought that it's the gods way of telling them stories. Gods would position the stars in different ways to tell them stories. Hmm, can't blame them. During their time, that's all they could come up with. As time passed, people started using the patterns of stars forming in the sky for agriculture. As there were no proper calendars, people back then would see a pattern in the sky that would repeat after several months and decide what season it is. So they could decide on whether they should sow or harvest. Today, astronomers do that too, to find other celestial bodies in the night sky. These patterns of stars in the night sky have a name. We call it constellations. Constellations are nothing but a group of stars forming a recognizable shape. The shape of constellation could be a bear, a scorpion, or even a soldier. Basically, the shapes of constellations are the shapes of the objects that we humans are familiar with. So far, we humans have come up with 88 constellations, all having their names, of course. Let's discuss about a few of them. Let's start with the Great Bear. Great Bear is one of the most famous constellations that we can see during the summer. It is also called as Ursa Major. There are seven prominent stars in the constellation. These seven stars form the shape of a ladle. Four stars form the shape of the bowl. And the remaining three form the shape of the handle. In India, we have one more name for Ursa Major of Great Bear. That is Saptarishi. The name Saptarishi is associated with several well-known sages of India who had the eternal knowledge of Vedas. Among the seven stars in the constellation of Ursa Major, there is a pole star. Okay, why are we stressing on pole star here? Is there anything unique about it? Yes, there is. Pole star is the only star that doesn't appear to move at all. We already know that all the stars, when seen from the Earth, appear to move from east to west. But why is the pole star an exception? Basically, pole star lies exactly on the axis of rotation of the Earth. So when the Earth is rotating about its axis, the axis obviously doesn't rotate. And hence the pole star, as it lies on the axis, doesn't appear to rotate. Interesting. But can we locate the pole star from Earth? Yes, we can locate it. And you know how? Using are some major constellation. Hmm. Now let's talk about the animal hunter Orion. Orion is one of the most magnificent constellations in the sky. Orion can be seen during winter in the late evenings. It has seven or eight prominent bright stars. The three middle stars form the belt of the hunter and the four bright stars appear to be arranged in the form of a quadrilateral. This constellation is used to locate the brightest star in the sky called Sirius. There is another prominent constellation in the northern sky called Cassiopeia. It looks like a distorted W or M and is visible during the winter. Hmm, I was wondering if all these constellations are always visible in the sky from everywhere on Earth. Well, they are not. Constellations that you can see depends on where you are on the Earth. People in northern and southern hemispheres see different constellations. Ursa Major is visible high in the sky from the Northern Hemisphere, and some other constellations would be visible only from the Southern Hemisphere. Well, we are lucky to have this inbuilt quality of forming and recognizing patterns, aren't we? Okay, I have got a general question for you. Where is the Statue of Liberty located? New York City. But wait, where is New York City? In the USA. But where is USA? In North America. Where is North America? On Earth. But where is Earth? In the solar system. We know that now. Yes, 
but wait a minute where is our solar system do we know the answer well our solar system is in the milky way galaxy milky what so galaxies are a huge group of stars gas and dust bound together by mysterious force that we call gravity in fact galaxies are the building blocks of the universe how many galaxies are there in existence scientists believe that there are 10 to the power 11 galaxies in the universe by the way different galaxies have different shapes they can be spiral elliptical or irregular our galaxy milky way is spiral and where are we in the galaxy over there feeling small let's summarize what we have learned today we learned that constellations are nothing but a group of stars forming a recognizable shape We learned about different types of constellations like Ursa Major, Orion and Cassiopeia and in which season they are visible. Then we learned about how we can locate the pole star. We learned that Sirius is the brightest star in the sky. We understood what galaxies are and we also got to know the name of our galaxy, the Milky Way. I hope your journey of exploring the universe has been wonderful. But don't let it stop here. Stay curious. Keep exploring.